I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ariella and I make videos about medical school, lifestyle, and education. Today I figured I would film my medical school uh, white coat outfits video. I wanted to show you some of my favorites that I've been wearing over the past couple trimesters. Uh, please ignore my hair. I have an event later today so I curled it and I'm waiting for it to like fall out a little bit before I hairspray it. So I want to touch a little bit on tips I have for your white coat before I get into showing you the outfits. When you first get your white coat you're going to be obsessed with keeping it like white and pristine and beautiful which is the stage that I'm currently in. And then there's the stage where you go on rotations and you get like food and bodily fluids and nasty stuff all over it. So. Something that I would recommend is keeping a Tide stick with you at all times. I don't have one right now because I don't really need it, but using a Tide stick will help to minimize the stains that you get. Except for blood. I think Tide sticks don't work on blood. <laughs> I used to get nosebleeds all the time and they would never work on my nosebleeds, so that's just something to note. And then the next thing that I would have with you, which I always have in my backpack and I have one in my car, is a lint roller. So I have like a little mini, I think it's called flint. I'm not sure. Well, it's just a little mini lint roller. It comes in like a little tube. Let me get it. Okay. It is called flint. So this is the lint roller I have. It's just a little mini guy and then you open it up by twisting and then you have your sticky part here. And I like this one because it's compact, it's easy to use, but then also keeping it inside keeps the sticky part away. Cause when you store a normal lint roller, the sticky part is like open to the public or out in the air, so it gets messed up and that's why I like this one. But I also have another one in my car. I made the mistake of wearing this orange scarf that I really like with my white coat one day, but it left little orange fuzzies all over my white coat, so I've been trying really hard to like lint roll the heck out of it. So, but if you see any little orange fuzzies, that's what that is from. Another tip I have is the day before you have like some kind of event that you need to wear your white coat for, I would either steam it or iron it. I have neither of those that I really feel like using, so what I'll do is uh, when I go and hop in the shower, I will hang my white coat in the bathroom and let the shower just run for a couple extra minutes in the beginning of my shower and at the end of my shower. And the hot water creates steam that kind of helps push out those wrinkles in the white coat. So it's kind of a hack if you're traveling and you need to iron something but you don't have an iron, you can stick it in the shower. Not in the shower. You can stick it in the bathroom and let the shower run and that'll steam it a little bit. All right, so without further ado, let's get into some of my favorite white coat outfits. So I'm sorry that the lighting is quite dark in here. I don't really have a good window situation in my bedroom. So this is what we've got to work with, but I think you'll get the idea of the outfits and I'll come a little bit closer and show you like each individual element if I can. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is one of my absolute favorite outfits to wear with my white coat. I feel like it's just like the perfect blend of comfortable but still very business casual. I just think it's awesome. And so one of the things that I do that I wear my white coat for a lot is I give tours for the school and there is a short walk between where admissions is and some of the buildings that we go to to give the tours. So if it's really like absolutely blisteringly cold one day I will actually wear leggings underneath these pants and if I'm not wearing this sometimes I swap it out for a different turtleneck which I can show you later if I'm not wearing this one because this one's pretty thin if I'm wearing a thicker one I can even wear a long sleeve shirt under that which a keeps me warm and b helps with my eczema because sometimes turtlenecks can be itchy and they really irritate me in this area but let me grab my white coat so this is what it looks like with the white coat and then I don't know if you can see I'm just wearing some black boots. Uh, actually normally I wear my Timberland brown Cormier Valley boots. Those are my favorite boots. I wear them every day. They're so comfortable and they're a little bit more casual so if I need something nicer I will wear just these black like pleather booties. But I just think this outfit is so cool and I really love it. So these pants are from Target. 
This shirt is also from Target, and then obviously my white coat. So this is another, <clears throat> oh gosh. So this is another iteration of this outfit. It's just another turtleneck. This one's from American Eagle. Usually I end up not tucking this one in because it's a little bit longer and the fabric tends to like bunch up here. But I think this one's really cool. And yeah, I really like the blue. I think it's a nice pop of color. And I can take this off. Yeah, I feel like this one just has like cool professor at a conference kind of vibes. So I feel very mature and yeah, just really cool. So this is another iteration of something I would wear pretty regularly. It's just some fun patterned pants. These are a little bunched. Also a little big. I need to get them tailored. And please excuse my unzipped shoes, but it's just easier to get them on and off. Um, but yeah, so some fun, interesting looking pants with just a plain pop of color on the top. So these pants, I think are from Peebles. The Peebles in my hometown was having like a closing out sale. So I went and I just got a bunch of business casual stuff that I can wear. I have a couple different versions of like this exact pair of pants just in different patterns that I'll show you later. And then these are favorite, favorite business casual shirts from Express. I like them because they have this zip that comes up really high and I wouldn't wear like the, a sports bra with it. I would wear a normal one, but I don't feel like changing. They have a zip that comes up really high. They're this nice, like, kind of satiny, uh, interesting material, like, businessy material. But then on the back, they're very much just like a soft cotton, so they're really comfortable. They don't, like, suffocate my armpits too much, which is something that really irritates me about clothing. So, um, another benefit of a uh, tank top is if you're wearing your white coat and you're inside, it's gonna be probably warm. And so you might get a little sweaty and that's why I like tank tops under the white coat or if I wear a blazer, I like tank tops under a blazer because I get too hot. Yeah, I just think the pattern pants are super cool. So I have two other designs that I haven't quite worn yet. I have like this pattern, this one's really soft. It's kind of like interesting chain link pattern. And then I also have this floral pattern, which is really cool. And this one, the legs are a little bit wider, so it's more of like a business pant. And this one has belt loops, which is really good because um, they are an elastic waist. They don't have like a button or anything, which is good, but I have pretty muscular legs and a pretty narrow waist, so the waist ends up gaping a little bit on me, so the belt really helps. These don't have a belt, the ones that I'm wearing right now, and I find that I'm pulling them up all the time. So I pretty much never wear dresses in a clinical setting just because I find that it's hard if you need to like bend down to get something or, I don't know, um, that restricts your mobility a little bit unless you're wearing like very opaque tights or leggings underneath, and I just like think this like isn't always the best look, but I will wear this if I want to be really comfortable during something like a case conference or a guest lecture or a team-based learning activity. Sometimes we are required to dress up in our white coats and look a little bit nicer while on campus during those kinds of things. So this is an example of something I would wear during one of those. Here it is with the white coat. I think that this dress is super cute, very like springy, um, not really the right season for it right now, but like I said, I don't really own a lot of business casual dresses because I prefer to wear pants. Okay, I forgot to mention before that dress, the pink one with like the palm tree design on it is from J. Jill. It's something that my mom got for herself and then it didn't fit her, so she gave it to me for conferences and things like that. And yeah, so this is the last example of an outfit that I have. This is definitely on the more casual side. Um, I would probably only wear this if I was going to a guest lecture or if I was going to give a tour or something. But I think this outfit is really, really cute and like very young and feminine. So this skirt is from Urban Outfitters. Uh, this shirt is from H&M, I think. It's a really good shirt if you're looking for, H&M is just a really good place to go in general if you're looking for business wear. This is really high quality and it was pretty inexpensive. And I think it's just perfect with the quarter or half length sleeves. It's a nice material, it doesn't, it's not too itchy. So yeah, this is the outfit. I think this one looks really nice with the white coat because the pop of white and brown just looks very like fall and very cool, so. This is my final outfit. 
And so the last thing I wanted to show you was a little bit of how I bundle up when I have to wear my white coat because I think it can be difficult to find coats that will go over your white coat and still look nice. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I usually wear with my white coat when it's really cold outside. All right, so first is this coat. This is my child. It's from Zara, which I know is like not a great sustainable brand, but I found it at TJ Maxx for $25 and it was originally like over 130. So I just got it. It looks really nice. This is one that I have to be careful of because it is merino wool, which is super like insanely warm, but it does like to leak some fuzz. And I feel like it goes really well with this outfit as well. So yeah, this is like my, I wanna look like a cool person living in New York City jacket. So this next one kinda has the same vibe. It's a little bit looser and um, longer. It's definitely longer. So if I like stick my arms in here, this one definitely also has narrower arms, which I mentioned earlier is something that kind of annoys me. So if you're looking at this jacket, which is from H&M, that's something to keep in mind. If you have like many arm layers in here, it's gonna feel a little tight. But this is something that I would usually wear and I would go ahead and button it up. And it's just super warm. Again, New York City in the winter kind of vibes. These two I don't wear as often. I will show you what I wear most of the time next. Okay, so this is my tried and true winter jacket. It's just a puffer, it's not down. Um, I think it's just like synthetic material from Columbia. And I got this sophomore year of college or maybe freshman year of college. I waited until after the winter. So it was like springtime when all these jackets were going on sale. And so it was originally $200 and I got it for 70. So that was a pretty decent deal. And for the amount that I actually wear this jacket all the time, I think it was definitely worth it. I do also have another winter jacket. It's a Save the Duck jacket, which if you know anything about Save the Duck, it's kind of like sustainability's answer and like animal cruelty's answer to Canada goose, which obviously uses goose down. Um, something that I don't really want to promote unless it's recycled goose down because there's so much out there. And in general, I try to be mindful of my purchases as much as I possibly can, but at the end of the day, it's impossible to be a 100% ethical human. But I do have a save the duck that's good down to like some ridiculous number, like negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. I haven't really taken that out because it's not that cold here in Philadelphia, but I did live in Vermont and New Hampshire for a while when it would get down to like negative 30 at night. And so I would wear that jacket if I was going to be living in a place that that was super cold. But basically the key to jackets that go over your white coat is something that's a little bit oversized. I think all of these are probably a size large, maybe even an extra large. So they have lots of room for the, the white coat in your arms and they can also go down past the white coat. But yeah, this is the jacket that I wear most often when I'm going to school and I have an event that I need to wear my white coat for. All right, I think I forgot to mention, but these shoes are from TJ Maxx as well. I'm not sure what the brand is. I can't see inside. Fusion? Unissa? I'm not sure, but I got them at TJ Maxx. They were really inexpensive, and I think they look really nice with all the outfits. Just like a plain black faux leather boot is something that goes really well, so that's those. This might be the cutest outfit that I've ever put together. I really like this. That concludes my white coat outfits. If you guys have any questions, um, if I forgot to include anything, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find links to any of these things because they are most likely sold out. I don't buy a ton of business casual things right now because I only need them every once in a while. So I'm not constantly updating my wardrobe with new pieces. But if you guys have any questions or any requests for videos, please leave them down below. Uh, leave a like and a subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.